Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sucky Face Gaming here and welcome to another Dragon Ball Top 5 slash Top 10 video which today we are going to be doing a Top 10 that was commented by Phantom Edge asking what is your Top 5 Dragon Ball games of all times? So without further ado, let us begin this Top 5 because growing up, I wasn't really privileged enough to have, you know, expensive consoles so I had to do with what I could trying to scramble to find Dragon Ball games when I actually had the opportunity to as well as it actually being on the console that I'm on at the time so it was really really hard for me to find Dragon Ball games obviously as a huge Dragon Ball fan I haven't had that much time to actually play Dragon Ball games which kind of sucks because obviously I really want to play like every single game that there is but at the same time I can't because I don't have that much money to actually buy the consoles but for these top fives I am going to be just listing them from worst to best in my opinion in my opinion like I'm saying these are games that I have played. I don't know if many of you guys have played these games that I'm about to say, but these are the games that I grew up with and the games that I truly love and they are my top five of all time. So just because it's number five doesn't mean it's like the worst game I've ever played. Not That's not what I'm saying. It's just it's, these top five are just games that actually mean something to me. And I know you guys probably have your own top five, so let me know your guys' top five Dragon Ball games that you have. But starting off our top five list, I have for number five, Dragon Ball Super Sonic Warriors. Now, the reason why I have Dragon Ball Super Sonic Warriors is because this was actually one of the first Dragon Ball games I ever got back when I was a kid, back in like 2006. This game was for the Game Boy Advance, which was the console I had at the time. And Super Sonic Warriors means so much to me because seeing how Fighters looks, Fighters almost looks exactly to how Super Sonic Warriors look. Like I mentioned when I actually made videos talking about Fighters, Super Sonic Warriors was kind of like Fighters, but it was a 2D version of it. Like it, we didn't have these graphics back then, so obviously the Game Boy had to do what it had to do. And that's kind of where I learned how to play the whole game and like to actually enjoy Dragon Ball. Like they actually had like the story arcs and everything. They had played characters that I loved they had all the classic uh, fighters characters you know we had Goku Vegeta Trunks Gotenks uh, Boo we had a lot of characters and I honestly loved that game for what it was even though it didn't have that much to it and after a while you just get really really good at that game that you don't really have to try as much it was a really really fun game and it did last me quite some time that game lasted me a couple years and that's how I kind of learned how to play the whole game and know the story of Dragon Ball so that one comes in at number five and it's just really really dear to me every time I see it because obviously I still do have the copy that's one of the copies of a Game Boy game I did not <laughs> sell or give away like I still have it. it it means so much to me and it comes in at our number five coming in at number four this is another game that holds near and dear to my heart because I love this game like you guys don't even know how much I love this game being a PSP player there wasn't really that many Dragon Ball games for the PSP that were good per se but this game stands above the rest and it is dragon ball tenkaichi tag team now tenkaichi tag team really stepped up the game in terms of dragon ball content for me because i got to do so much with so many different characters that it was insane like i got to do cool matchups with characters that were never even meant to team up like you were able to team up vegeto with gogeta uh, Frieza with Goku you could do so many combinations and the story for that game was just so well put it was like the open world of it just making you fight people as you go along leveling up your character and whatnot it was really really cool and just the overall aspect of you actually being able to team up with people it was kind of like Xenoverse in a sense but instead of having like an overall unit of like three people per team it was just two people per team and it was just overall a really really fun experience that game honestly lasted me so much time because I was on the PSP for who knows how long but that game in and of itself lasted me a cool like three or four years like every time I popped that game into my PSP I knew I was in for a treat and the special quotes characters had with one another when they actually you know paired up with the unique things it was really really cool I really really loved it that was just an overall a really really good game Coming in at number three, we have obviously the brand new Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, the reason I didn't really want to put this game on the list was obviously because it's new and so much of the hype was built on it that I didn't really want to put it on the list. But guys, this game is just so damn fun. Like, I had to include it on the list. Obviously, I didn't place it any higher because for me, it's not the best in my opinion. But it's a really, really cool game. It has so much new features to it. The graphics are just phenomenal. Uh, I haven't completed the story yet because I'm still going on it. The story is really, really long. It's much longer than I actually thought. But overall, Fighters is just a new and refreshing thing. And like I said, 
this has a lot of elements of supersonic warriors which is like i'm saying you know the top five like the number five slot like this game has so much implications for fight uh for supersonic warriors that it just brings nostalgia for me in a sense that i honestly just love this game and even though i'm not the best at fighters i honestly do love this game and there's so much to do in fighters that you know you just literally cannot stop playing like i'm saying the story is completely long like it's really really long i don't know how long it actually is i'm barely like 25% of the way done and I've been playing for like four or five hours like the story's long and then you can also play with other people online play with friends so you could you know help your friends to train you, you and your friends could get better at this game because obviously this game takes somewhat skill I mean majority skill if you're like a really really you know addicted pro gamer it's going to take a lot of skill and you're going to be able to wreck people but overall this game just had something new to it obviously from all of the other predecessors that we've had over the years this game is something new something fresh that a lot of people could get into because it is a fighting game it's not something that you could just mash buttons and whatnot even though some people do that you're not going to get far by mashing buttons you you actually need to know what you're doing and that's kind of what i like about fighters is that it's an actual technical game even though i don't like using the technical characters it's just a fresh way to actually bring back my old competitive self within a dragon ball game like it's been really long since i was able to play competitively in a dragon ball game so that is why fighters actually comes in at number three Coming in at number 2 guys for my favorite all time Dragon Ball games has to be Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 because my goodness has that game brought so many memories to me. Obviously I would put number 1 because uh, Xenoverse 1 was the one that actually started this whole thing about you creating your character, you know the race, the actual ethnicity, how it looks and whatnot. but for me Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 just brought so much more to the table that Xenoverse 1 should have had. Like, Xenoverse 2 has so much more stuff in it that I just absolutely loved. The story was phenomenal. I loved more characters in it, like the future Gohan stuff and whatnot. And they're still expanding on it as, like, right now that I'm recording this video, DLC 6 still hasn't come out. So, maybe when DLC 6 actually comes out, I might actually change this list and just put it even higher at number 1 because... Xenoverse 2 just brought so many good memories to me. I remember picking it up with my friend and me and my friend would just grind and grind trying to get to that level. I think it was 75 at the time or 80. I'm not too sure. We were trying so hard to grind. We were trying so hard to collect the cool costumes to collect all the moves. Like it was an automatic grind guys. Like that game literally lasted me so much time and effort into it. Like I would play that game every single day till I would finish everything. Like it was insane. And I even managed to rank up to level 99 which was completely insane. Like you guys don't even know how many hours of gameplay i had to do to get to level 99 like it was a huge grind and that's the reason why i love it is the fact that it took that long and they're still building it like there's still one dlc left like i honestly cannot wait and that dlc actually looks cool too like i could tell a lot of people are going to be picking it up and going back to xenoverse 2 once it comes out but like i'm saying that game just has so much to me and obviously it's what's been on this channel for like almost a year and a half now it's it's been that long since i've been doing this and Xenoverse 2 has been the gameplay I've been using for all that time, so obviously Xenoverse 2 is going to be held high in that regard. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking, Huggy Phase, you put Fighters at 3, and you put Xenoverse 2, the game that you absolutely love, at number 2, what could possibly be number 1? Now, this one might actually come to a shock to you guys, but coming in at number 1 as my favorite Dragon Ball game of all time has to be Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Oh my goodness, guys. Just hearing that name, it makes me smile. So many good memories within that game. Like, I absolutely loved Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Like, that game in and of itself for me was so fun. It kind of makes me remember, of like, that 3D model of it where you could just run around, roam around, do anything you kind of wanted. And the character list for that one was just so huge. Like, it was a huge roster of characters. I felt like you could almost play as any character within, like, the Dragon Ball the universe might as like not a, to mention the exclusive hachu jack i believe that's how you pronounce it right like the robot that character was super cool like i honestly loved raging blast 2 raging blast 2 had so much to offer that other games didn't like i'm saying that big mass roster obviously it's not as big as like xenoverse and whatnot but it was just a huge roster in and of itself to actually have there and it was just so fun to play i remember always going to my friend's house because my friend was the one who had it i'd always go to his house and we just play raging blast 2 like hours upon hours upon hours like that game for me was just so fun i wish i could have had a chance to actually buy it but obviously i don't have an xbox 360 anymore so i wasn't really able to actually pick it up anymore but just 
having those memories of that game that game was the game that actually got me into fighting games like that game overall was just so so good and i honestly just loved it i wish they could make a remaster of raging blast 2 for like the newer gen consoles because that game in and of itself had like beautiful graphics for the xbox 360 and the ps3 i wish they could remaster it again just so i could pick it up because man there's just so much good stuff and if you guys ever played raging blast 2 you know what i'm talking about like that whole environment free feel to it all the characters you could use obviously i loved using super trunks because Super Chunks took up like half the screen. Super Chunks is really cool. I like using Hachi Jack because Hachi Jack was also a really, really cool character. But just overall, that game for me has to come in at number one. But that's all I really have for this one, guys. What do you guys actually think about this top five? Is there any games you guys have in particular that would have made this list? What games from the ones I have chosen have you guys played? Because I know not a lot of people have actually played the Game Boy Advance ones, the PSP ones. Many people just usually go for the newer gen games like Budokai and all of those which I understand because I didn't put on this list I didn't put Budokai within this list because that's not a game I actually played because obviously I didn't have like a Xbox 360 or anything like that when those games actually came out so I wasn't able to put it so yeah this is this whole list is just subjective to what I've played I know other people are going to say that their favorite game was probably like Budokai 3 which I think was the best one everyone's talking about but I'm not too sure but yeah what do you guys actually think about my list what games have you guys played what games have uh what how would you guys have rated this list that i've put up and also provide your own list of what your favorite game is because like i'm saying raging blast 2 is my all-time favorite dragon ball game of all time so i just really want to hear what you guys have to say hopefully you guys like this video hopefully you guys enjoy these top 10 slash top 5s that i'm doing there's going to be more on the way just make sure to leave a comment as to what exactly you guys would like me to do for the next one because i do read your guys' suggestions like i said this one was coming from phantom edge so thank you man so thank you so much for giving me this idea for top 5 games i think the next one might be top 10 moves or top 5 moves within dragon ball super that one's going to take me a while because i don't really know the names of the moves i just know like the people who did them so i'm gonna have to do some research on that but like i'm saying leave your guys' suggestions suggestions for the next top five and top 10 in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you all in the next dragon ball super or gaming related type video peace